All right, it's been a year and a half. How long have we lived in here? We, no, just, since we've had the house on the property, a year and a half, right? Yeah, yeah. It's been a year and a half. We've been living in the house for a year and two months. Month. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to do our final complete walkthrough. Many of the body shop girls are going to show you the inside of the house. I'm going to go around the outside of the house. The main issue that we had with the outside of the house is the molding around the windows. It took them approximately three months to get somebody out here, but believe it or not, we had a guy come out here, it was in the middle of the winter, and there was snow on the ground, to be exact, and he went around the whole house and replaced almost every piece of this molding. Kit Manufactured Homes came through. Yeah. Now, the people that came out and fixed the windows were the window people. They were the window yeah. manufacturer yeah, people. The manufacturer they were not the manufacturer was the person right. that came out and fixed it. And it did take just a minute to get the appointment. Of course, it was the middle of the winter time. Uh -huh. So, you know, they had to wait for right. uh, good weather. So, But they got out here and they fixed everything up. Excellent. Okay, one other thing that I want to show you on the house. If we could come over here. Where's that little tag at? And here it is, right here. Okay. This is certified by the state of Idaho. This is an Energy Code home, Energy Star, Energy Code certified home from the state of Idaho. Now, we live in an area where it gets pretty cold over here. Yeah, we're in elevation. We're in high elevation. About 4,000, give or take. We haven't had any minus zeros, but it's a lot colder here than it is in Dallas, Texas. So the house that we have, we were really shocked when we talked to Kit Manufacturer Homes, and we said, how much extra is it going to cost us to get the energy code insulation packs? And they said, we don't even know what you're talking about. That's part of the deal. The insulation that you're going to get is good for 25 below zero or something. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's so. because where it's manufactured at, it gets super cold there. It gets really so cold. So everything they build so. is made for the cold. Um, the Which, house. Of course, us coming from Texas, we didn't yeah. realize that because Texas is hotter than all Hades. And, right, right. Yeah, so. Now, one thing we did do is we had some dirt brought in to uh, basically lift the ground up. All right, uh, level where we wanted it. So we got that done. Now we haven't planted any grass. We haven't put our porches on yet. And I pay us, uh, with building materials sky high, we don't know when we're gonna get that done, but we'll get that done sooner or later. But overall, on the outside of the house, a year and a half later, it really holds, it's holding up great. Um, the paint is holding up. The finish is holding up. All of our window trim is holding the up. The new window trim that they put in right. is still perfect. It's still it in excellent condition. Heat, this, this I mean, heat. you got to understand, you know, it gets 125 degrees out here. So when it's hitting this window, I mean, these things are 150, 60 degrees. Yeah. Okay. The guy told me, he said, you can buy this stuff. It's easy to replace, which I know it is. And it's going to shrink down. There's nothing we can do. But yeah. they did come out, they did fix it, and it all came out great. I'm going to go ahead and take the camera. It's Minnie's turn. She's going to do the walkthrough on the inside of the house. She's going to show you everything about it. One other thing that we got that was an extra that I didn't show. We went ahead and got an outlet on the front and back of the house. So we got an electrical outlet. Now that was an extra cost. Yeah. That did not come with the house. Another thing, if you look, you can see how beautiful this door is. Uh, the front a, door was an extra cost. Upgraded door. So that's a nice door there. But you know what? We're going uh, too quick here. Let's get inside the house. We're going to start in the pantry. Uh, not the pantry, the it's laundry room. room. And we'll go from there.
Okay, Manny the Body Shop Girl, what are you going to say about your house? Uh, the quality of the house. Well, first off, hang on. All right. This is my utility room. Look how much room I have. The utility room I had in my old house was a closet. Was, I could get in there and the door is right Basically here. about that big right there. Yeah. So yeah. this is my big giant utility so room. So to you, this is giant. It is. Wow. It is. Right. Let's start out with this room here. Now, what's so important about this room? I know we got the heater and air conditioner. What's going on? This is where our stuff is. Hot water heater and the AC unit. Now, that is something to take note of. AC units do not come with. On this side of the country. On this side of the country, yeah. In Texas, yes. Maybe. We but, don't know. But, but here but... they don't. We had to purchase that. And there's an outside part, too. Right. It was and it was $5,500. Uh, $5, but you know what? This baby works great. And it's very, very cost efficient. Oh my lord. Yeah. What about that hot water heater? That's hot the hot water heater. Look how big it is. It's humongous. We went ahead and paid extra for that. It is humongous and I can take a shower for 25 minutes with the water full heat and it never runs out. Right. I love it, love it, love it. Something else that's really nice and convenient about the shut off. If you ever need to shut this off, it's right there. Now you what is this? Shut off for what? For the water. Right That's there. the main water shut off for the whole house. Yeah, right there. Located so right there, okay. The hot water heater, the bottom busts out, you know, after 15 years, you know, just, yeah. Turn the whole water yeah. off. Or your pipes freeze, mm -hmm. but of course our pipes aren't going to freeze because we have super duper insulation. Now there was one other thing about kit manufacturer homes that the other houses didn't have, and that's this right here. Oh. This is a full house exhaust system. Yes. And it runs off a thermostat, I believe. Well, there's a switch there, the whole house ventilation. When you turn that on, it sucks all the, you can open, crack your windows open, and then it sucks it the air suck where it. it's actually literally saving you uh, electricity because it, it's, it's using the airflow from the windows to exactly. condition your house. It's like a, a big giant suction fan almost. Yeah. But we really like that. And then we also like this open transom up here. Uh -huh. Makes it really nice. And something special I got was a pocket door. Right. Because just in case. There you go. You need to close this off for any reason. Mm -hmm. That was extra too. That was extra, yeah. Right. But I love my pocket door. Now I'm looking in the corners of the house and I see that after a year and a half, we don't even have stress cracks. We don't have nothing going on. Everything is very nice and efficient and still looks just yeah. like the day that they repaired right. it all. Now, when we first moved in, of course, you've got to remember there are going to be cracks and there are going to be cracks everywhere. And what you do is, you know, you let the house settle a little bit before you call them up and give them your list of stuff that needs to be fixed. That way the majority of the cracks have already happened. We waited three months. Yeah, and then so that way before we did our punch out. Yeah, so maybe no others will show up. You have one year to do it. Right, they give you one year unlimited warranty. Through the dealership that we bought ours from, which was um uh, Kit Manufacturer Homes. No, the dealership. Oh, up in Salt Lake? Yeah. What was their name? Well, you got me tongue tied now. Oh but there'll be a link in the description below. There'll be a link below. down there where we actually. Where we the actually. Dealership. Carefree Homes. Carefree Homes. Yes, we love Carefree Homes. Call Give them. Give them a call. Yeah. There. Okay. This is your kitchen. Did you get anything done extra on this, or is this how it came? Well, I did get the canned lighting. Okay, so that was extra. Yes, and that's something that me and Pete argued about because I didn't really want the canned lighting, uh -huh. but Pete said, yes, yes, yes. So I just said, okay, you know, this isn't the battle to choose. And we got the canned lighting, and I'm sure glad we did. And there was right. another lighting that we got. It was under the lighting. counter. Now, the under the counter light comes with. Oh, it does? Yes. So that comes with it. I yeah. thought that was extra. Yeah. Now, it only comes with just right here. Right. If you want it on the rest of your counters, it's That's extra. extra. I think there was another thing. They had two different styles, stainless steel uh, upgrades. And we were going to get the more expensive one. And Bert said, don't get that. You're wasting your money. Yeah. These ones here are better. Yeah. And see, the front, because you don't need the whole thing to be stainless yeah. steel because you're not seeing that back there. So these are just stainless steel on the fronts. Just stainless so steel like, fronts. This is stainless steel, 
but, but this, this is part great. is not. And I didn't even notice that until you just reminded me about that. Yeah, I didn't even so the so it was like a midway upgrade. So Burke actually saved us money because we're like, yeah. uh, we want the stainless steel. And he said, you're going to get stainless steel, but you're, you're going to save a lot of money. Just get the stainless steel Exactly, price. and that way we got to spend our money on the thing we wanted, which let me oh. show you what that is. We wanted our house to be light and bright, lots and lots of windows. And it came with, which you saw, the big front window, which is called the prismatic window. Okay, let's go in there and look at that. Now, yeah. hold on. Uh, what about that fan? Okay, the fans, that's another thing Burke told us. You can buy your own fan and save money. We can put you a fan in there, but it's going to be a lot more than if you go buy your own It's going to be like triple or quadruple. Yeah, if you go buy your own fan at Home Depot. So, Pete being the handyman he is, we went and bought our own. And Pete installed our fans for us, which saved right. us money, which Burke didn't have to do. But it saved us enough money, all these things he told us, so that I could have that big window right. in this room over here. And before we go in there, I want to say a couple more things, if you don't mind. All right. You're talking about Burke saying, hey, uh, save your money with this so you can spend it on that. Well, here's something that was I didn't even think about he actually threw it at us and it was a little bit extra but let me show you what we're talking about if we come over here we see there's three switches here and he said hey don't spend your money on that let me show you something that you want to do get the double switch so you can do this we're going to use this switch right here and it's going to control your fan and then this switch is going to control your light so we got a three-way switch action going that way we don't have one switch controlling it and then we have pull cables we hate that and the other switch is for what that's for i think that the this one light. is for the outside light and then this one here is for one of these plugs which i don't know which one it is yeah okay so we left off with you about the prismatic window yeah okay the so we got this window us, here saving us money here so we can spend money there so right. we wanted this window to be in now the this one too. came with the house, now, am I right? Yeah, this house was designed with this window okay. here. Now, oh, one thing about this room, this is our front door. Yeah. You could put it either on either side. Oh, okay. So okay. that was your pet. But we didn't want that next to the bedroom. That's what the right, deal was. Right, exactly. We wanted it as far away from right. the bedroom. Right, and we wanted it by putting everything toward that wall. Kind of gives it the aspect that it's not an open living. Yeah, it's a yeah. semi-open living. Because if we would have put the door over there, I would have put this room over here, and then we would have been sitting and it would have looked more like... Yeah, one big right, room. And right, me right. and Pete don't like to open. No, don't, don't be offended if you have an open living house. They're beautiful. And, and, we just don't but like But we them. just want so. more separated stuff. Okay, now you did something special to the house um, that you want to make to say, this is my home, this is oh. what I did. What did you do, man? Oh, well, I have a lot of books I love to read and I didn't have I had a wall of books in my old house but I've always wanted a library I actually would love to own a used bookstore but most people don't like books anymore so I just have my own personal library now so what did we do what we did was this on the other side of this wall is the second or a third bedroom actually the right, third bedroom right. And this was actually a solid wall. It was a little niche. It's a little niche in there, like so you like could put, put a plant or a statue. Or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we knocked this out and got rid of the closet right. in the bedroom. The closet was right here. I mean, it took up that whole wall. Yeah. The actual door to get in was right here on this wall. Right. And you walked in to the closet. And you had and to you had turn around. Turn and then all you had was this little, I mean, just enough room. Yeah. And this is actually the bigger bedroom of the two, isn't it? It was, uh, yeah, it's actually the Now, one other thing we did, we went ahead and moved that window all the way over because it was in the middle. We did. The windows were in the middle. You can, of have, the you can actually get your windows wherever you want. Anywhere you want. They and that's open. not extra. They, was it extra? I don't think it was no, extra. No, I don't think so. No, yeah. it's not extra. So we moved now, that window all the way a over. a window it is, but to move them it's not. Right. So we moved, the win we moved every window in the house almost. Yeah, yeah. So we moved that over because I wanted the most wall space and I am going to be putting three more shelves right here because mm, I have some more books that, yeah. So this is Minnie's little room and believe me, she hangs out in this room uh, half the day. There you go. Okay, well there you go. All right. So that worked out really nice and we went ahead and added this arch right here, am I right? 
Yeah, instead of being squared off because we have well, a we had, Now, we did have to pay extra for that arch. A matter of fact, we had to pay extra for that whole section because uh, I think it was just an open wall. Exactly. We wanted it. Yeah, we wanted to make it look off. like two separate rooms. Yeah. So, and this is what I was telling you about the extra window because we could save our money in places was we got our second uh, prismatic. prismatic window here. Yeah. So it's kind of almost a mirror image of the living room. This yeah. is a bigger room though. Yeah. So and this is where we spend most of our time right here. This is our lounge this room. This is where we live and watch Pretty TV much, no. I want to say something about this house. This house is designed for two, maybe three people maximum. Yeah. All we right. got this because it's just... This is a two person, three maximum, possibly retirement house. It's well, only yeah. 1,600 and what? 58? 1,654, I think. 1,654 like square yeah. feet. But we got a cat and a dog, and with the two right. of them, it's plenty, it's plenty big. What's going on with that door, man? Okay, originally the house comes with, now get this, this house comes with that window up there, uh -huh. and then it a giant You're sliding like glass door. All the way up to the ceiling line. It, the, it's like a seven and a half eight, feet tall. Eight foot tall, I think, is the biggest sliding glass door I have ever seen in my right. life. It's bigger than a normal sliding glass door. Huge. But we don't want sliding glass doors because we live in the desert and the wind blows like crazy out It'll here. It'll jam up the doors. And... Yeah, so we picked this door. Although it's like a front door, we did it that way intentionally because the, our house is not really setting on a street with a bunch of other houses yeah. around it. We're like the only house look here. Look at the view we got out here. So we wanted to set our house the way we wanted it and it to look like the front of the house. The front no of the matter, house could be the back of the house or the back of the front. Now something else that we upgraded, you probably don't remember, is these two windows here. It only had one window. It only had one window. Because we want as many windows right. in this room it had as possible. one window right in the middle of the It wall. was right in the middle, and we said, we want to add another window, and we want them centered in the center. And then he said, are you sure you want all those windows? And we said, yes. Yeah, so they gave us So we window. did pay for now, that extra window. It is two windows. Yeah, it's two windows. Yeah. Now, hold on. Let's tell them about your curtains. What about my curtains? What about them? They were expensive. <laughs> they were expensive. <laughs> Curtains are yeah. expensive, people. Curtains are expensive. We bought them online. Yeah. But they came out <laughs> but really But they came good. out really awesome yeah. and beautiful. The last video, we didn't have curtains. We had sheets. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, so okay. we're yeah. not going to walk in here. Yeah, but This is our extra bedroom and then our extra bathroom. Yeah, and we didn't here. really do anything and, yeah. spectacular. But this is where the door was. The door would have been right there. Yeah. But yeah, and, and then, see, look at this. Now, didn't that make a nice little nook, nook for our to hang our stuff up on? Yeah, yeah, we love it. We love yeah. it. And then, I guess the last but not least is the master bedroom, which is right here in the back of the house. There you go. Now, like I said, we did add add windows. There was only one window in this That's room right. there was on only this one wall, in the middle. and it was right in the middle. And I wanted more wall space, so I put and more windows, so I added a window and put them. As far to uh, each side as, as far possible. As we can go. And then I added and the you wanted that transom. You had to have that transom. Yeah, I saw that in some other house uh, and a, I uh, said, Oh, I want that. Yeah, because so, they don't even put them in their house. We had to order that. Yeah, that was a special one. I don't it really think they made them. I don't yeah, think it really wasn't that much. I think it was only like 150 yeah, bucks. Yeah, a few or something. hundred bucks. Yeah, it was cheap. But yeah. Basically, just the cost of the window on that. And then we got our master bathroom. This which is Minnie's bathroom. Is my bathroom. Minnie's bathroom. Let's go ahead and look at that beautiful bathroom. My sister. Now, why are women so uh, amused with bathrooms? What's going on with that? Well, I have a messed up leg. Okay. So I can't stand up real good. Right. In the shower, I worry about falling. Okay. So I have a seat in the shower. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Now, where do you turn the lights oh, on? Oh, I forgot, yeah. I got light in the shower, too, of okay. course. So it now, was, was this extra? Yes, it was. But it was well, well worth it. Yeah, so I got a full bench seat. Oh, wow. And uh, a big rain shower like head. And, yeah, it's an awesome shower. I love it. And then you got your uh, tile glass. Mullen glass. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got it really rigged up nice in here. Okay. This is one thing I liked about the uh, kit homes. They had that window. That was a standard came issue. Came with. Came, came with. Came with it. Uh -huh. And every other house we saw, they didn't have the windows. No, you had to pay, you had to pay for extra it. for yeah, it. Yeah, And then, so. yeah, something else you did. You went ahead and got the single cap uh, sink. Your pick, one or two sinks. Uh, I yeah. wanted to have more cat, more space up here. Two sinks, not enough space. Yeah. Pete likes to use his own bathroom, so he uses yeah, the guest bathroom. Mine. I get this the I get the guest bathroom. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, and yeah. when they give you the uh, one sink, the cabinetry is actually different. Am I correct? It, yeah, it is. So it, the one sink it, actually even gives you more cabinetry space. Right. All right. So what's going on with the mirror now? Is that extra? Or uh, is yeah, that the, the house deal? Do you get that with the no, house? No, the mirrors cost a little so bit extra. the mirrors extra? extra. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, have you priced mirrors lately? Yeah. Buy them with, the, buy them with your house. It was cheaper to buy them with the house than... Because we did go to Lowe's and price mirrors. Because Pete didn't want to get it. He thought we would save money. I'm going to turn money. that light on for yeah. a minute. He thought we would save money if we didn't uh, if we did it ourselves. Yeah. But uh -uh, mirrors high. Something I want to talk about that's really important. I'm really shocked that vinyl has actually, the technology of vinyl has come this far. And I want to show everybody this floor. What you're looking at here, this is a rollout, um, quarter inch thick, I might say, almost quarter inch thick vinyl flooring. This is not real wood. And I'm going to tell you what, I am amazed. It I is, love it. I love it too. It's it easy is, to clean. Oh my God, sweep it and get some fabuloso and mop it and you are done, man. Yeah. You are done. So if you, when you get your house and they say vinyl flooring, say don't, yes, say yes, I yeah. want it. Yes, and I want it. And another thing, that's another thing Burke told us because we asked him about wood flooring and he said you don't want that. You don't want to get it through the manufacturer. Yeah, that's what he told but us. But he but even told us he said get the vinyl, do the vinyl. You're gonna love the vinyl. When you get your house, you're not even gonna want it because the texture and the feel of that, even on your feet, it feels like wood. And the cleanup is. The cleanup is going to sell it for yeah. you, and, and like I said, you don't have to wax it or nothing. There's, it's no maintenance. Let me ask you a question. We had some serious problems with that bathroom, with that uh, shower, when it was delivered. There were two things going on with it. One was the uh, shower the controller dog. itself was sticking way out, and the other thing was the ceiling was falling apart. Do you remember that? Let's yeah. check that out. We got a lot of comments on that last video if they I, fixed that. I forgot all about yeah. that, yeah. And we had uh, a guy say that these walls are two by three. They are not two by three. They are two by four full-size walls, just like a regular house. And if you look up here, you can see they went ahead and they fixed that wall up there, the ceiling, and you can't even tell it was fixed. It's, it's fixed perfect. So that looks really great. And we've been in here for a year and a half now, and we haven't had any problems with moisture or anything no, uh -uh. whatsoever. If we look right here, you can see the shower head is fixed. And the way they had to fix that, they literally had to cut the wall out and then go in there and readjust that shower head and then fix that. And you can see they did such a professional job, you can't even tell where they fixed the wall. So, yeah. Get away from I mean, it just came out really, really awesome. One thing Pete forgot in the last video, I think, is to show you my linen closet, which is really big. Wow. Look how big it is. And the reason it is this big is because this is where the bathroom, the shower used to be. Oh, is that where the shower actually really, the original one? Uh, yeah. The bathtub and shower? Y yeah, it was all huh. over here. Oh, okay. And when I, because I wanted this big shower, they yeah. put it over here. Because this is like a whole system thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And so, so that means I got a, because I got the upgraded shower, I got a bigger. Upgraded closet. Uh, upgraded yeah, closet. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so. Now what about, what do you think of the closet in this house in the master bedroom? What are you thinking about it? Do you think well, it's big enough for two people maybe? Do well, you think it is or? I think it, it is, it's a big closet, but look everybody, look ladies. Oh my look, gosh. Look, look, look whose clothes, these are Pete's clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all Pete's clothes. Right. These are my clothes. Gee, okay, I think we've seen enough of the closet. I'm gonna turn the light off. These are my clothes. Thank you, thank These you. These are Pete's clothes. Okay. These are Pete's clothes. <laughs> Those are my clothes. <laughs>
It's that time. It's time to subscribe. Click the bell. Do yourself a favor and comment as well. Because there's only one thing that's going to make you happy as a pig. And you know what that is? Subscribing to this YouTube channel. Do it now. Do it now. And you'll be sitting pretty. Just like this big fat pig. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so what's the most favorite part of the house? What's the most favorite room of your whole house? Is it your bathroom, your kitchen, your your uh, lounge room over here? What's the most favorite part of the whole house? I love it. Do you my, have a favorite part? I really don't have a favorite part. I love it all. I love do you think kid manufactured homes actually did what they said they oh would do? God. And are they above worth above and beyond? Right. Above and beyond. And like I said, and like y'all already know, because you've seen our videos, we did our due diligence. And I suggest you do your due diligence before you go out there and actually spend a hundred and eighty thousand dollars of your hard earned money huh. on a house. Hold on, let's take that back. Now we called Carefree Homes just two months ago. Now this is a year and a half later. Oh, yeah. We paid for this house, and this was with all the upgrades. It was one hundred fifty-four thousand dollars is what we paid. Plus twenty thousand for the foundation. Twenty. It was twenty thousand. But for the house loan, it was like one hundred fifty-four, one hundred fifty-seven thousand. I don't remember what it was. Somewhere in that range. When we called Carefree Homes a year and a half later from us buying ours, what did they tell us? We just called them just the other day out of curiosity to see about, because you know how everything's been going up and up and up. Yes. They went up $100,000. I think it was 83000 On this model. This model, and that was just for the standard issue model. Yeah, yeah. I would not say that we got a lot of upgrades, but I say that we got enough upgrades to make us happy with the house that yeah. we're Yeah, and like I said, if you go and you find that dealership that, that works for you, then you, he, they're going to help you save the money in those right places like that's the key like to me for us. to me from all the traveling that you and me have done and all the snakes that we've we met hit five states yeah. five states we but we met a lot of snakes i mean Hard i right. know when we looked at some of these houses we literally got in the car and i and i told you i wouldn't buy a house from that guy oh yeah, yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't talk to that dude bottom line is do your due diligence make sure that the dealership and yeah they call themselves dealerships just like a car dealership they are dealing in homes manufactured homes and you need to make sure that that dealership get you an honest one that's going to save you money yeah. in the place that, that you need that to save that cares money. about you and not exactly. just their bottom line all right to finish this off like we were saying you know your dealership the guys you work with there are the most important thing another thing that our dealership guys told us our countertops they said just get what comes with it and then when this is worn out that's when you do your upgrade you can upgrade to uh no, marble hold on. these aren't room. marble no they're not they're for mica they are and they're just as strong and sturdy why waste the extra money when you don't need to exactly and that's exactly what burke told us uh -huh. that's what i'm saying if you weren't listening that's what he told us. Don't get the upgrade because you, and you can't. They'll give you granite. They will, and it's gonna be more than if you go to a granite shop. Oh, he told us to have our own people do it. Exactly. He said, "Don't have the manufacturer do it. They're gonna charge you a million dollars if you want that done. Do it later." Exactly. He yeah. says, "Take what comes with it, and then when this is worn out, then do your upgrade." One more thing I want to show everybody. Okay, these are all soft clothes. You can see that. Look at the hinge work on these cabinets. Unbelievable! It's like it's, it's solid. It's like a, a solid wood. It's not particle board. And one more thing, this is like a snap-on toolbox. Look at that. Watch this. Did you see that? That comes with. That comes with it. Okay. That is not extra. And then, oh, look at this. This is really nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, that comes with it, right? Yep, yeah, comes yeah. with. We love this that. Is a, this is a cooker's dream kitchen. you got your big drawer. Yeah, look at how organized. Big... Minnie's got everything looking beautiful. And, oh, I'm all, yeah. I'm all about that. So okay, Minnie the Body Shop Girl, this is a long video. Anything else you got to say I about know, your house? I love my house, and I'm so glad we finally got is here. Is there anything you can say to, to beginner buyers out there 
Uh, first just, time buyers. Just beware and check out the dealership. Ask for references if you don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't feel comfortable, then you need to go somewhere else. In the history of Carefree Homes since the early 70s, what did he tell us? And he said, and when he told us, he was shocked and could not believe yeah. what he told okay, us. Okay, so when they they called in, the house is ready, and um, they they have to bring one piece out at a time because it's kind of yeah, it comes out half and half. And of course, the virus had just hit. Or it was just beginning and he didn't, he didn't know whether or not he was going to be able to get it out here and sure enough they were able to bring both pieces out and then of course we wanted to have we had to have the water and the electricity and the, and the sewer sewage. and everything so we got our stuff all together now hold on tell stuff. everybody who did all that well of course Pete did we did all that ourselves we did That's all our, our own plumbing well, and, and our best buddy and our best buddy New in Mexico, Mexico Paul, Paul. Yes. Came out here and ran that backhoe like a champ. Like a champ, man. Like uh -huh. a professional. And we had all the plumbing, all the sewage, and all the electrical hooked up and, and done, done. Before they were finished. Before they were even house. done mounting the house on. Yeah. Okay, you got a phone call. Thanks a lot, Minnie the Body Shop Girl. Okay, this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I hope you like this long and extensive several year series, I might say, of buying the right manufactured modular mobile home of your choice take it easy we'll see you later stop the horses hang whoa, 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 on hang up? on i have i forgot to tell you we were talking about, energy code yeah let me tell you let me tell you energy code we get out here and my first bill now we're talking electric bill yeah my first electric bill i, I think it was like 180 dollars and then for the next five months it went down every month down 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 for five months my electric bill went down that to is, what it, to like eighty dollars eighty dollars yeah now hold on you didn't tell the whole story and then and then that wasn't summer, just for the house though oh no that's that's for the house and the shop i forgot to tell you yeah we got everything on one bill so that's for the house and the shop. And then I thought, okay, well, that's just a spoof, you know? Uh-huh. Summertime's coming. And it went down more. Pete, Pete loves the AC. So I thought, well, that's when it's going to hit. Guess what? $145. Was our highest bill all Last summer. month. No, two months ago was one forty five. And it's gone down from and there. It went up eleven dollars to one fifty five. So is this a month. house? Is this an Energy Star house or what? You tell Something me. Something else they need to check out. You tell Ask me. that dealer. Is that an Energy Star house? We want Energy Star. We house. want Energy Star. Gotta okay. go. All the appliances too. Yeah, gotta go. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. Loving the house we live in, loving where we're living. Loving it. And uh, hoping that you're going to get the break that you need to do what you got to do.